Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. My name is The Cigars. Today I'm definitely not in a cigar lounge, so uh, let's light one up. So, today is going to be a very special day for Let's Talk About Cigars because I'm not only going to talk about cigars, I'm also going to talk about cars a little bit. Because I'm going to visit my friend Brian, who owns a company called Brian's Custom Audio. And you may have guessed it, he builds audio. Yes, he builds the most insane, high quality, custom made audio for cars, yachts, uh, houses, everything you can name. So, he has a couple of uh, very nice cars now in the shop that I'm going to look at and he wants to build a very nice new humidor and a cigar lounge in his new workshop because a lot of the customers do visit him there and he wants them to have a very relaxed atmosphere so well you need cigars with that we all know that so um, I'm going to walk around the building and, and talk to him about where he wants it what he wants and of course I'm going to smoke a very nice cigar I brought a couple of with me and well Let's see how it goes. So, I will see you there. So now we're inside of the building. I hope you can still hear me. Here we have a Range Rover. This is getting a custom uh, audio system worth like 150,000 euros, just in this Range Rover. And here we have the Ferrari F12 TDF. A very special, very special car with a custom made sound system in it. It's invisible to see because the owner didn't want like a big subwoofer or anything like that. What a beauty. So, let's check out some of the rooms and uh, light up a cigar. So, right now I'm in one of the listening rooms. Um, here's a very special room because there's an audio set of like 200,000 euros, two speakers and an amplifier so that's very special and this is one of the places where customers can relax uh, enjoy the sound uh, watch a movie or uh, yeah just uh, just sit here and, uh, and talk about uh, what they want to do with their car so uh, this is one of the places he thinks about making a, um, a real cigar lounge for so he wants a, a humidor, uh, the ashtray, uh, he wants a good selection of special cigars. So I'm going to talk to him, uh, what does he want, what does he want to spend, because uh, yeah, we all know that, that ain't a cheap thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to smoke a cigar now here, because uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> so I brought a couple of uh, very special cigars with me. Um, ranging between the Grand Reservas, Bihike Reserva, uh, and some limitadas. So, I think for the first cigar here, because I think it's going to be a long day, I'm going to smoke the Reserva. This is the, the H Upman, the latest Reserva that came out. Of course, after this one, the uh, Grand Reserva came out, the Romeo and Julieta White Churchill, and uh, which is a better cigar, I believe, but. Uh, I will maybe smoke that uh, after this one. Even though it's a pyramid, I, I will use my V cutter. I have to say, it's a bit spicy in the beginning. I didn't really expect that, I didn't have that before. The draw is excellent. So as you can see, a V-cutter also works perfectly on a, a torpedo shaped cigar. A lot of people will say that it doesn't work, you need to use a normal cutter, you need to cut it three times. Uh, that's all good, but uh, trust me, this works. And, and you won't destroy the cigar with it. So, I'm now going to show you around the building a little bit more. So we are now upstairs, as you can see a nice view of the cars. And this is the second place, that's maybe 
more fitted for AC guard arms. There's enough space to, uh, for four comfortable chairs and a table and a humidor. And it's right next door to the home theater. And, and this home theater is insane, I can tell you that. So, what would you guys do? Downstairs in the music area or upstairs with a beautiful view? The cigar is coming to an end, so I'm going to go downstairs and talk to you about the cigar a bit more. So, now for the verdict about the cigar. Uh, I'm almost done with it. As you can see, it is a fine cigar, but is it a great cigar? I would say no. I had way better cigars that aren't Reservas, and I had way better grown Reservas that are even younger than this one, like the Romeo and Giulietta White Churchill. So, is it worth buying this cigar? Because it is around, I think, 35, 40 euros a piece, and they come in a box of 20, so you do the math. Well, I have to say, I think it's worth it, but not to smoke now. So if you do buy them, or if you have a box, store them away for a couple of years, uh, smoke them once in a while to see how the taste is, is coming up, because uh, it has a bit lack of, of taste in this one. It is a fine cigar, uh, the draw, uh, they look beautiful, no, no big veins on it, uh, the color is, is very nice, very nice color brown, but it's, it's it's lacking taste at this point because it's just too young. Even for a Reserva, it's, it's just too young. So, um, yeah, again, if you can find them, because I know a couple of stores in Holland that still sell them um, uh, just as singles, so you can find them, then uh, store them away. But I have another thing, and that is I'm going to do a giveaway. Yes, uh, a giveaway on my YouTube channel and a giveaway on my Instagram. It's going to be a Dupont giveaway. Uh, I will uh, give away a, a, a Maxi Jet lighter, like, uh, like this one, and the, the matching color. And all you have to do on my YouTube channel is to subscribe on my channel, make sure to like and comment on my post, and I will uh, pick a, um, uh, yeah, a follower in the next couple of videos. I will also show uh, the things I'm going to give away in my video. So. Um, you don't have to do a lot, you don't have to share or anything, just make sure to follow, like and subscribe. Uh, no, comment. So, I'm going to enjoy the last of this cigar, because I'm back in the, in the, in the nice lounge with, with the speakers. Uh, I'm really going to enjoy this, so I'm going to turn off the camera, turn off the music and, uh, and relax a bit, because, uh, well, that fits this cigar. I still have a, a bit to drink, so uh, uh, I will see you later and uh, smoke on.